Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and I'm just coming here to do a little quick dolly check-in just to do a quick little doll video just to kind of share with you some of my favorite dolls over the years and things that I've enjoyed and things that I've been collecting and pretty much kind of share with you my two favorite doll lines and pretty much what I've been doing in terms of the hobby and um, how I've been enjoying it. Um, it's no secret that LOL of OMG is my top favorite doll line right now of course i still love rainbow high and i love brett's rainbow high is probably like my second favorite doll line just really really love these dolls and i just really really love the aesthetics and what they stand for and the fashion is great the hair is amazing um, but i just kind of wanted to show you some of the dolls some of my favorite dolls um that i've uh, collected um you know over over the course of uh, uh the lines being released um so you have gamma babe you have Nicole Steele from Shadow High. You have Miss Glam, I believe, but I've kind of, you know, repurposed her and kind of re restyled her in my own way. Then, of course, you have uh, Skate, Skate Boss, Skate Boss. She's one of the newer sports dolls. And then you have um, Honeylicious. And then you have Delilah, which I put her hair in braids. She is like my Afro albino girl, and I think she's absolutely beautiful. So these are just some of the dolls that I, I really, really love, that I really enjoy on my shelves. I think they look really, really pretty. So that's kind of why I'm just kind of sharing them with you guys. And just to kind of like check in and to see what you guys are up to. Uh, we have a lot of new exciting things coming out. Um, there is a new line of... Um, hair show dolls from um hair fashion dolls from um omg coming out there's another series of um rainbow high coming out which is very very exciting um and of course uh brats have a new release coming out and of course everyone knows that monster high is going to be releasing dolls very very soon actually the pre-orders are up and i've pre-ordered claudine wolf already and i will definitely be reviewing her on this channel but just kind of wanted to share with you guys some of you know what I've been doing and how I've been kind of keeping busy in the Dolly world. As you all know, I am also a BJD, which if you guys aren't familiar with that, that is a ball jointed doll. I also collect those dolls as well. And that is another facet of this really, really great hobby that I enjoy. I just really love a multitude of dolls. Doesn't matter what they are, 18 inch dolls, BJDs, small and fashion dolls, but please don't get it twisted. I also collect Barbie. Um, so yeah, I collect Barbie, Monster High, I have Ever After High, I have Novi Stars, I have Winx Club dolls, I have Miraculous, um, I have some Sailor Moon dolls, uh, tons of different um, generation of Bratz dolls, um, so you name it, like I just really, really enjoy uh, collecting dolls. One of my favorite doll lines, if I'm if I, uh, thinking back, is Life in a Dream House. I don't know if you guys ever remember Life in a Dream House, Barbie, but that TV show was like, that, that web series was top notch. It was so, 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 so good. The writing was great. The animation was great. I would really love to see Barbie kind of return back to that because the, just the, the content was just so, so, so great. And I, as they got kind of later on in the season, I can kind of see them kind of wean off it a little bit. Then it just kind of just like stopped all together, which kind of sucks because it was a really, really great um, series. And they had they had just reintroduced Grace and uh, Grace's new face mode. And she had a doll and all that. And, you know, it was really, really cool. And plus, I love the old Nikki face sculpt. Um, Nikki is one of my favorite Barbie dolls. She's actually one of the um, ones who kind of got me started collecting Barbie again. So... Um, but yeah, that's kind of like one of my favorite favorite doll lines of all of all time. But speaking of this girl here, I'm gonna take her down. Speaking of Gamma Babe, Gamma Babe reminds me of this doll line that I just mentioned called Novi Stars. She looks like Ali, Le no, a metallic. Um, I'm sorry, MG. I love you guys, but I know you guys kind of dig into your vault and just kind of tinker around and see what you can kind of pull out. But there is no way that you guys didn't look at Metallic and just were like, yeah, we're going to do like a space, space age doll because the hair is the same, literally the same hair. These little braids on top of May's head, the bang, the glasses, everything is pretty congruent. Like she looks exactly like Metallic. Not that that's a bad thing. I think that's really, really great. Actually, I would love if MGA was to reintroduce the Novi Stars, but kind of like in a MGA scale or do something like um, OMG Novi Stars inspired, like, you know, has some OV OMG dolls inspired by Novi Stars. I think that will be really, really cool. And Gamma Babe should be the one to kind of kick off that, that series. Um, it's just, you know, I love dolls. And I just, these are some of my favorite ones that I thought were just like the most interesting out of all the other dolls, um, I mean, I have uh, I have others that I love, but I couldn't, unfortunately, put them all um, 
on the table to show you guys in my little doll space but this is just kind of like what I do and what I like to enjoy and how I love to enjoy dolls this is just what I do to kind of take the the steam off the day like I work hard you know working in healthcare is not an easy thing so this is kind of how I decompress when I come home I style my dolls the way that I want like Honey Licious she looks completely different from you know her stock you know, photos. I like to do things to my doll to make them unique. The Lila is the same way. And of course, Miss Glam is the same way and Nicole Steele. Because I have a special series that I have planned for Nicole Steele, which I'm going to share with you guys at a later date. But yeah, that's just it, y'all. I just kind of wanted to have a little chat. I wanted to do a video. I wanted to stay consistent, you know, with posting and things of that sort and sharing. And again, this is a shared space, so I do apologize for the background mute, um, noise. This is a shared space. I have to record when I re record, and this is just kind of like what it is. But again, I just want to guys, I want to thank you guys for checking out the last few videos that I posted. I, I really appreciate any and all support. Um, I'm just going to end this video here. Um, and you guys just please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know about the doll lines that you're most looking forward to. Let me know some of the ones that you're uh, disappointed in, you know. Um, so let's talk about, let's have all types of dolly conversations in the comments below. I really appreciate the feedback too. So I really, really appreciate that. Um, so again, I guess I want to thank you guys for the support. Go and watch the other video. Subscribe if you want. If you want to reach me and see other dolly things that I do, uh, you can reach me on Instagram at Fierce Plastic 7 I want to thank you for watching this and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.